It wasn't my fault. You stole my car. Where is the trust in this house? When I get confirmed, I'm going to be a man. So how come I can't drive? Oh, you really want to get into this, huh? Who was that man that we had to pick up at camp last year for bedwetting? That was the year before last. You could have killed those girls. Now, that would have been interesting. What? What did you just say? Death just shows the ultimate absurdity of life. What is this? Are you trying to get me to lose my temper because I'm about to put you through that goddamn window? See? That's what I mean. Life is absurd. Don't say that! God forgive you! There is no God. Hey! Where is this coming from? What, what are they teaching this crap at school? Is this this new English teacher, Mr. Clark? Uh, where is he from? Answer me! Oberlin. You want him to read something other than Hustler? Hello? He got assigned this stranger. You want him to be an educated person? What do you think education is? Are you just make more money? This is education. Do you ever think, like, why were we born? Madame de Stael said, in life one must choose between boredom and suffering. Go to your room. No, I'm serious. Why were we born? We were born because of Adam and Eve, that's why. Now go upstairs and do your math. Algebra? That's the most boring. Well, your other choice is suffering. You want to start now? Move your ass! Sounds to me like Anthony Jr. may have stumbled onto existentialism. Fucking internet. No, no, no. It's a European philosophy. After World War II, people were disillusioned by the sheer weight of the horrors. And that's when the whole idea took root, that there were no absolute truths. You believe that? In your family, even motherhood is up for debate. No, it's not. I teach him to love and respect and appreciate his mother. <sighs> now, what's going on with you? Nothing. What? You know, that no God shit. That upset your mother very much. It's not no God. It's just God is dead. Who said that? Nietzsche. He's a 19th century philosopher from Germany. Anyway, that's why I'm not getting confirmed. Enough with that shit, all right? Your confirmation's coming up this weekend, and you are getting confirmed. That sucks my nut. Hey, you got a lot of balls, you know that? You go to Catholic school, and your mother wants it. Yeah, what does she know? She knows that even if God is dead, you're still going to kiss his ass. Hey! Elbow up, Matt. Keep it straight. Don't just have me pull more. Fuck him. My son don't hit sacrifice flies. You're up next. Nah. I just want to watch. You got to snap out of this, Anthony. Come on, AJ. It's fun. Yeah, I know. I just don't feel like it. Sometimes you got to do things you don't want to. Why? Because your parents say so, and it's part of your tradition. Baseball's not part of my tradition. Well, it ain't. Your dad in high school was almost all county left field. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your confirmation here. I don't want to get confirmed. Why not? Don't matter why not. If you're looking for a purpose in life, doing what's right is your purpose. And that's not what Nietzsche says. Who? Oh. Nietzsche. Let me tell you something. Nietzsche wound up talking to his horse. And I know what you're going to tell me, Sartre, right? Well, Sartre was a fucking fraud. He copped it all from Husserl and Heidegger. Go on. Hey, you should start at the beginning. Take a look at Kierkegaard. Whatever. Hey, Kierkegaard said, every duty is essentially duty to God. Nigga be a leader, not a follower. What? Master P said that. Wait, you still listen to rap? Why? It's just all about marketing now. 